Hello friends, today we're going to learn about the auto layout in iOS. So uh, I'm going to make a complete video series and uh, we'll try to cover as much as I can and as I know. So let's get started with the Xcode, create a new project, single view application and make uh, keep it as universal as we are using the auto layout and uh, we might need uh, for both iPhone and iPad. So let's give it a name auto layout. And I'm going to save it on desktop. Okay, fine. So let's open the storyboard quickly, and you'll see a very weird thing that is the 600 cross 600 storyboard. You can see uh, the width of the view here, uh, the 600 cross 600, and uh, you know it's not like uh, iPhone, it's not like iPad. So uh, Apple, what uh, what uh, Apple did is that it provided a generic storyboard, and from uh, if if I set any kind of layout on this storyboard. So it will uh, reflect on both iPhone and iPad. So if I put any kind of view or label it and uh, you know put constraints on it, so it will be reflected on all kind of uh, Apple devices, iPhone device. Oh, sorry, uh, that iPhone and iPads. So there, there's one more interesting thing in iOS here that is the size classes. So you can see here when you click on this very little thing, uh, you'll see this uh, new size classes. So I think this size classes are introduced uh, later on uh, for you know for handling the various uh, uh, landscape and portrait issues. So let's see this the dimensional thing here the W and H the width and height and it currently shows any any it means that if we select any any so this layout is meant for both the iPhone and iPads of all dimensions. There are certainly more options like. If we choose this compact width and regular height, it's for all iPhones in portrait, only for iPhone. So I click here and this size class is generated for iPhone. If I click this, this is for the the, the 5.5 inch iPhones in landscape, for iPhones in landscape, and the regular cross regular is you know the uh, layout for the iPads. Let's choose any cross any. And let's get started with the various auto layout things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, just take a label first. And that's very important. So uh, let me tell you something that label is an intrinsic type, and uh, the view is you know UI view is type of extrinsic one. So uh, intrinsic basically you know you can see here I think it's somewhat here. I don't know where is it. Anyways, so uh, the issue is uh, I want to put this label uh, at the topmost corner and I'm going to make an, another label and I'm going to put as bottommost corner. Okay, so first of all, uh, let's switch this uh, big, big, big storyboard in a 4 inch uh, iPhone storyboard so that uh, it's better to make a particular layout for a basic iPhone and just put all the constraints uh, on on the particular labels and views uh, so that we can uh, handle these for all the iPhones so uh, just a second this label is you know gone on the right hand side after I switched into 4 inch as it was you know dumped down hidden so our issue is first uh, to maintain this right where I will place these two labels at the extreme ends of uh, the iPhones. Okay, the first one is the top left and another one is at the bottom right. So for any kind of view or any kind of uh, uh, control or label or button, we need at least four constraints. The first one is, you know, like the the topmost guide the top constraint another one is the bottom then the leading constraint which is from here which is from here and the trailing constraint which is from here so these four are basic things and basic constraints every control needs so let us see what we can do with these type of things suppose you want to place this label uh, on the top so let's just first check how it looks in uh, various uh, iPhones. So just 
close this one to make some space yes now click on this and uh, <clears throat> just select the preview here so you can see the four inch iPhone you know, the labels are perfectly placed as 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 that we require now 4.7 4.5.5 and 3.5 you know something needs to be done for the 4.7 and 4 5.5 inch uh, you can see uh, there is a design distortion here and the label is uh, you know very uh, far away from the bottom right corner in both the cases in 4.7 and 5.5 so here we we need some auto layout earlier there was a thing called the auto resizing mask but uh, uh, it's better to do with auto layout as uh, we can make relationships with other views in by using the auto layout thing okay so let's do it okay one more thing I'd like to show that if you uh, in, in case of 4 inch if you rotate this you'll see the label is gone here in every iPhone so we just want to maintain the rotation too so that the label uh, remains at the bottom right corner so in order to fix it uh, we need some constraints okay so what are those constraints okay now let us move with to the some of the other options to auto layout you can see here these three little things one is the line menu this is the line menu which uh, allows you to put kind of, uh, put any kind of constraint related to the horizontal or vertical alignment this is the pin menu uh, which allows you to put uh, you know the top top leading trailing and the bottom layout and this is the menu which allows you to upgrade the frames if you have made change in any kind of constraints or uh, if you want to clear the constraints you use this menu okay you can add it like this too by dragging the the you know your mouse from the label to the view or label itself uh, whatever it takes to so there are many things you can you can also uh, use the editor and use the pin and leading trailing everything you can you can put uh, various constraints to, uh, by using this too so these are some of the ways and some of the alternate ways to put some of the constraints on the labels so let's put some constraints on these two labels so that it maintains the bottom left and so the, yeah the bottom left and that uh, bottom right and the top left of the super view so let's uh, do something like okay I'm gonna tell you that uh, by default uh, this is checked constraint to margins it's better to uncheck it and use it because it you know just creates a, a margin of I think 16 or 8 around the uh, around the super view uh, so just uncheck it and uh, and use it okay so I'm going to select this label and I'm going to click this and uh, it says that you are 16 away from the left fine so when you click it you find that you are 16 away from here now you want to give the top layout just uh, right click on label and drag to the super view and top space layout guide so this is basically the status bar portion that's why it showed a zero space when I clicked on the pin menu that the label is zero space aligned from the top else you can uh, clear the constraints and uh, you can give the left the leading one and the top layout from here too it's perfectly aligned now in case of this label again do the same thing uh, put a 16 here that is the trailing space and 20 from below the bottom space and so this label is fixed too okay and now you can see the preview in all the phones in all the phones this is perfectly aligned the label is 
this label is at the bottom right and this label is at the top left if you rotate the device and you'll see that they are perfectly fixed see the 4 inch screen is perfectly fixed the 4.7 is perfectly fixed the 5.5 is also and the 3.52 okay so I guess let's run this project once so that you can see it so these are the two labels the label one and two and when I just rotate it and you know it, it's maintained there so in the in the landscape mode we don't have any status bar that's why the label is just you know zero uh, constraints away from the top okay now just move this label you know, some uh, some pixels down and I'm going to uh, click this very little thing at the extreme right and it, sh it says that resolve auto layer issue it says that pin and it says that align so I'm going to click the resolve auto layout issue and I'm going to update the constraints so what it does you can see how much the label is uh, from the top by clicking on the label and by clicking on the show size inspector menu and you can see here there are two constraints associated with the label the first one is uh, that the leading space that is this space is equal to 16 and the top space is uh, 10 from the top now you run this and you will see the difference okay everything fine and you know from this uh, point of view on the landscape mode the label is a bit down and not uh, you know very uh, you know not sticking to the top of the screen as we have provided a top constraint with 10 so it will maintain in every device a, a distance of 10 from the top and a distance of 16 from the left so we can run this on various devices in iPhone 4s and we can see the general behavior what the constraints do so that they are correctly uh, set this auto layout thing is you know very handy and uh, nowadays many people are using it to make a perfect layout for each and every device and uh, we need this uh, we need badly need, need this thing and uh, to manage the complete layout as we, we can do it with the uh, every dimension for so here we can go with the iPhone 4s part and you can see that the label from the the top label and the bottom label are perfectly aligned with the top left and the bottom right and when you rotate the iPhone and you will see that these labels are again following the same constraint marks and not violating their properties okay so this is a very general tutorial regarding the various label constraints and I'm going to continue this tutorial in the next video series so that we can learn about the various uh, uh, more properties of auto layout and uh, I'm going to play with views and buttons too uh, and we'll make a complete layout uh, for uh, for the you know basic uh, iPhone app uh, so that it can uh, it can be uh, you can say that we can run the complete layout in every dimension of the iPhone and it fits in you know it fits better in every dimension of the iPhone so uh, we'll see you in the next tutorial thanks for watching